Welcome to the short video tutorial about how to use the recently updated Glofas interface, including all its current functionality. Before watching this tutorial, please make sure that you are familiar with the basic concept of Glofas. In case you are not, you can use the video tutorials found on the Glofas YouTube channel to familiarize yourself with the system. Or, as a second option, you can read the information related to data and methods found on the Glofas landing page under the About Glofas section. You can access Glofas under www.globalfloods.eu. The system is freely available to everybody, but it requires you to register. Once you are registered, you can log on to the interface. You will see at first glance that the new Glofas Forecast Viewer has a far more intuitive design. The Glofas team has prepared two new video tutorials in order to guide you how to use this extremely dynamic platform. The first tutorial, this one, will explain you all the basic features of the interface as well as a brief description of the Glofas information. The second tutorial will build up upon this one and show you how you can customize the interface to accommodate your very personal user needs by tapping onto a large source of information through the WMS services. Ok, let's get started with the main features of the interface. First thing to check is your inbox which contains details on updates and other important information. Click on the forecast viewer to return to the main page of Glofas. By default, the latest flood forecast is displayed. However, it is possible to see past forecasts either by using the calendar option or by using the forward or backward arrows. The clock icon will always bring you back to the latest available forecast. On the top you see the layer repository with four predefined layer categories containing by default all the available Glofas layers. If there is a Glofas layer that you are interested in, but it is not yet visible in the Focused Viewer, load it into the interface by pressing the Activation button. All active layers are listed on the left side in the Viewer. Here you can do a range of modifications, such as activating or removing individual layers or change their display order. Press on the Information button to see the layer legend, including a short description. More information to the respective layers can also be found in the Data and Information section under About Glofas. You will have noticed that there is a number of blue buttons in the upper right corner. Those have various functions. The Home button brings you on the landing page of Glofas, where you can find many other useful information, such as information about Glofas, including the basic concept and case studies links to other global activities related to flood information and in particular to flood monitoring and their prediction. And lastly, your post box and profile settings are also located on the landing page. Again, click on the focus view to return to the Glofas forecast section. The map background offers you a range of different background layers, among which you can choose your preferred one. In the drop-down menu about Glofers, you find various links, such as to the data and method section of the landing page, the tutorials on the Glofers YouTube channel, and the terms and conditions. With the search button, you can find any location, such as a city, region, country, but also, for example, a river base. Now, let's look at an example. In order to understand how these points relate to each other, make sure you have one of the threshold exceedance layers activated. In addition, activate the major river basin layer to see the delineation of the basin. If you don't remember what the symbols, colors and shades mean, then you can always find the explanation in the description of the respective layer. In this example, you can see that the different shades of red represent different focused probabilities with which the 5-year return period flood threshold is exceeded, whereas the different colors of the reporting points represent the exceedance of different critical thresholds, and the different symbols give conclusions about the predicted flow tendency, such as increasing, stagnate or decreasing. Click on any reporting point to receive more information on the flood forecast for that particular location. First you will find some key information summarized in the header, such as information regarding the location and the forecast. 
Further down, you can see a quantile plot that shows the evolution of the forecast for the next 30 days at that particular location. Note that both the discharge and the corresponding GLOFAS return periods are shown. Further, you can see the evolution of the forecast in relation to the exceedance of the two 5 and 20 year return period threshold in the calendric matrix. Beside those reporting points at which flood thresholds are exceeded, GLOFAS holds more than 6000 permanent reporting points, which are marked with grey squares. Also for those points, you can look at the GLOFAS predictions. The meteorological layers will provide you with information related to the expected precipitation. Three layers show the probabilities of exceeding certain quantities of precipitation within the next 10 days. The one currently loaded into the viewer shows with which probability 150 mm of precipitation are expected within the next 10 days, according to the ECNWF forecast. The fourth meteorological layer shows the accumulated amount of precipitation over the forecast range of 10 days, based on the median of the SMWF forecast. In order to understand better where how much precipitation is forecasted, it is recommended to change the opacity of the layer group in order to see the underlying topographic map. Additionally, you can activate the river basin layer to see the amount of expected rainfall in a certain basin. The last layer I'm going to quickly show to you in this tutorial is our 100 year return period flood hazard map, which comes in very handy while assessing a possible flood situation. Hope this tutorial helps you to get started on the new interface. In case you are interested in more, please watch our next video on WMS services in Glovas to learn how this dynamic platform allows you to tap onto a vast amount of freely available information that help you to accommodate your very personal user needs. The Glofas team is wishing you happy exploring.